Let's bring in Congressman Jeff Van Drew of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee and Congressman Warren Davidson of the House Financial Services Committee. Now, Congressman David, I want to go, Davidson, uh, I want to go first to you. Uh, your thoughts on the actual cost of this spending bill? Well, look, it's laid out really well. Brian Riedel at the Manhattan Institute is a, a budget guru. He's he does the work that the CBO will not show. I've got a bill called the Congress CBO Show Your Work Act. That's the group that's supposed to do the financial modeling for our numbers. And they're not showing their work. If they did, you would be able to drill down and say, this is a flawed financial model. And either way, it's essentially a buy now, pay later scheme uh, that, that really is disingenuous, as you laid out in the opening segment. Right. Yeah. So, so I want to show I want to show a scroll here. I want to show viewers what's in and what's out of this plan as we're talking here. And as this scroll, some things pop out at you. A hundred billion dollars for immigration, increased enforcement for IRS on taxes on and taxes on corporations. What's out is Medicare for dental and vision, free community college, paid family leave, drug pricing. Congressman Van Drew, I want to get your reaction to this. Uh, I know you can't see this list scrolling, but you know what's in, you know what's out. I want to get your reaction to this bill overall? Overall, anything that's going to help Americans basically is not in there. Anything that's going to cost Americans more money, more taxes, more hurt. You know, it's good, hardworking, middle Americans that are breaking their back every day. And now we're spending, they say, $100 million. It's going to be more, more overall uh, on undocumented folks. We are literally going to grant them amnesty now across the board. Um, we're going to actually charge people or make sure that banks are reporting when people have transactions that take place, which is intrusive and I frankly think just totally unacceptable and not the America we know. This this is not America first. This is America last. This is the worst administration that we have seen literally in the United States of America ever. The yeah, worst well, Congress, the worst administration. It disgusts me to see what they're doing with this bill. And they're being tricky, by the way, because as you pointed out, they're saying it's a lower number. It's not a lower number. It's less time. It's going to be a bigger number and it's going to become a much bigger number. And you know who's going to pay for it? all those hardworking people out there in America. Yeah, it seems almost like government first. And I want both of you to listen to this. The Republican leaders from both sides uh, of the Capitol on this. Listen to this. Do not view this as two separate bills. It is one bill. And do not view it as a bill that's less than two trillion. Because what they're doing is they're playing shell games. It is still the programs that are in there. They're dialing them back. It's still going to cost you five trillion. And the biggest revenue raiser to pay for this bill is to spy on Americans. They're throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping that something sticks that will get 50 votes. Mm. And they're not there yet, and it may take them weeks to get there if they ever do. So, Congressman Van Drew, uh, you know, was it just a gimmick to negotiate with Republican senators over true infrastructure, because you're on the Transportation Committee, uh, or were these both bills linked in the president's mind the whole time, do you believe? I, I, he may link them. I do not. Now, I want to point out that I have voted against everything so far they've brought up. The original infrastructure bill, uh, the CR, the debt ceiling, uh, obviously what's going on here with reconciliation. The one bill that I think we should look at, I've read from page to page to page, is the transportation and infrastructure bill. It does have dams, bridges, roads, broadband. It has real infrastructure in it. And it's the lowest number, of course, the one that we need the most. And I think that we do need infrastructure. So I would disagree that they're the same. They're not in any way the same. Uh, all the other bills are terrible. I voted no on all of them. I think that this is something that should be looked at. And I think that there is a reason that some Republicans in the Senate, many of them, 19 of them, supported it. But everything else is complete nonsense. Yeah, and it's, it's being held hostage. So, Congressman Davidson, I want you to look at some of the tax changes uh, in the new plan and get your reaction to it. Democrats think they'll raise $400 billion from going after taxpayers, $350 billion from companies that move jobs and profits overseas. It's a little fuzzy how you figure out what, what exactly uh, how to, to quantify that, plus uh, $325 billion from a minimum tax on companies. Uh, you know, the numbers rarely add up when you look back. Do you believe these projections? I don't. And again, this goes back to the CBO Show Your Work Act and why it's so, so essential. If you look at the models, they say that it's off by about $500 billion. So 
Uh, and then how does it pay for it? It essentially creates a made in America tax. So if you look at all the reshoring that's taken place and frankly should accelerate uh, looking at the supply shock that we're seeing in our economy, you look at ships stacked up at ports, one of the ways to eliminate that burden is to make more stuff in America. They make it much harder to make things in America. And frankly, even the infrastructure bill makes it almost impossible to generate enough electricity for all the demand they create for things made in China, like uh, batteries and solar panels. So it's really a disjointed bill. And Joe Biden looks at the two of them together. He said he doesn't care whether it's six minutes, six days, or six weeks. So they are holding hostage the good things to do the bad things. And I spoke with somebody who said that they would love to see the prescription drug negotiations in there. I'm like, that could be a one-page bill. We literally, we would have to spend five and a half trillion dollars to save money on prescription drugs. That's the bad policy. The good news is Democrats don't have the votes. That's why they're saying, hey, we're open to input over the next few weeks. They don't have the votes. And let's hope they don't get them. All right. So 20 seconds for each of you on this one question. What do you believe this shows to the world, to global leaders uh, of President Biden's position in the globe that he can't even get his own party on board? Uh, let's start with you, uh, Congressman Davidson. Well, it shows that Joe Biden's a weak president. I mean, he looks weak in foreign policy. Uh, he looks weak as a leader in our country. And frankly, Joe Biden's been destroying America. Yeah. So uh, 2025 can't come fast enough. Yeah. Congressman, Congressman Van Drew, I want to give you some time. What do you think? Worst administration ever. It does show the weakness. I agree with the congressman. It shows the supply chain he's weak in. It, it literally with crime. We have the highest crime rate in our cities now. It shows that literally he approves other pipelines in other countries, but he's down on his knees before China. He's down on his knees before Russia and India. We are not the strong country that we should be abroad, even when it comes literally to the hypersonic planes that missiles that they were speaking about today right. that China has and we don't have. That's not my America. My America is the strongest, best, number one country in the world. That's what we've got to get back to. It is not at all what he represents. Thank you both. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, Congressman Warren Davidson. I appreciate it. Great debate. And we will see you guys again soon. Thank you.